I think developments in the politics uh, went in a different direction. Uh, and uh, we are seeing to some degree uh, the consequences of that. If you threaten the Indian High Commissioner, he is supposed to accept it as freedom of speech. But if an Indian journalist says the Canadian High Commissioner walked out of South Block looking very grumpy, it is apparently foreign interference. Look at the, uh, I mean, this is not even, uh, double standards are very mild word for it. Where Canada is concerned, I think there are some very specific issues. I think a lot of people know that. Uh, you know, you are right. Uh, if you look at the people to people, if you look at the business relationship, it's very, very strong. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, for a lot of people, uh, it is very difficult to imagine uh, that uh, we could reach the state of relations that we have today. So why has this happened? I would say uh, uh, definitely uh, there is some history, you know. Uh, I mean, for the non-Indians in the room, I should remind you that uh, in the 1980s, uh, Indian uh, Air, uh, Air India plane was blown up flying out of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, Canada and uh, in many ways that, that's a kind of a overhang because it wasn't just an incident, it was a, it was a reflection of, of something which was going on there. But at a time when many people felt that look, those are, that's all behind us, I think developments in the politics uh, went in a different direction. Uh, and uh, we are seeing to some degree uh, the consequences of that. So again, I, I give you the, the first observation that, you know, uh, the broad attitude versus the specific. And I give you two, three examples of it. You know, uh, Canada has just, uh, uh, they, they uh, asked us to, uh, su uh, subject our uh, high commissioner to a police uh, uh, inquiry, you can say. And we chose to withdraw the high commissioner and diplomats. Now, by, you know, look, look at it. They seem to have a problem if Indian diplomats are even trying to make efforts to find out what is happening in Canada on matters which directly pertain to their welfare and security. But look what happens in India. Canadian diplomats have no problem going around collecting information on our military, on our police, profiling people, targeting people to be stopped in Canada. So apparently, the license that they give themselves is, you know, is totally different from the kind of restrictions that they impose on, uh, uh, on diplomats uh, in Canada. Or even take the press, I'm at a press event. Now, you know, when we tell them, saying, look, uh, you have people openly threatening, leaders of India, diplomats of India, you know, sometimes the threat is not just verbal, it's physical. So their answer is freedom of speech, okay? Now, when Indian journalists make social media comments, I mean, if you threaten the Indian High Commissioner, he is supposed to accept it as freedom of speech. But if an Indian journalist says the Canadian High Commissioner walked out of South Block looking very grumpy, it is apparently foreign interference. <laughs> now, how, you know, look, look at the, uh, I mean, this is not even, uh, double standards are very mild word for it. So, look, there is this thing that we, we will con do it differently at home, we will different, do it differently abroad, we will do it our way, but that doesn't apply to you. So I think these are the larger, uh, I would say, adjustments which have to happen uh, in this changing world.